Hello everybody, I introduce myself, I'm Anelita, uh, I'm from the municipality of Cento and now I'm with uh, a, very, I... a very good friend. I'm and... Cristina Kudrek from Bistrica, Romania and uh, really happy to be here with you today. It's a pleasure also for me. So Cristina, I know that you, uh, in your municipalities, uh, you have carried out some interesting small-scale actions. Would you like to talk us uh, about it? Uh, to tell and tell us something about it uh, actually I do because um, we have uh, at this moment being implemented two such small scale actions one is targeted to the greater audience uh, and it's um, also about the heritage of the city because Bistrica is a medieval city and in the city center the historical city center we have some inner backyards that are being uh, unused, that are being depraved. And uh, we really think that um, we can use those spaces to have a meeting place for everybody who wants, you know, just to be there. So it's a kind of regeneration of an old place. Uh... Uh, for uh, the citizens of today. Yes, yes, and it's actually being an idea that was uh, carried out by the citizens because they uh, they wanted to see history at its place. And uh, probably in Cento as well, this happens that uh, historical buildings are not refurbished in the proper way. Mm -hmm. And we have historians and the High School of Fine Arts and also uh, a company, an NGO that it's called Petros Italus Trust. They are uh, specialists in uh, remodeling by the book. Uh, and uh, in the end, we will have a big event. Mm -hmm. We will invite whoever wants to come. Mm -hmm. It will be like a party with a DJ, with uh, some wine tasting mm -hmm. and an exhibition of all the proposed projects for the refurbishment of that special courtyard. Oh, I think it will be a very beautiful event, surely, for the city. <laughs> okay. And uh, what about the second action? Would you like to tell us something? Uh, actually, the second action is uh, targeted at a younger audience because we want small children to see uh, at an early age what it's like to be an active citizen. Mm -hmm. And uh, we listened to their ideas we will uh, let them uh, just be themselves and uh, provide the material they need to color the path when entering the school with motivational codes and uh, also the benches around the school they will be colored beautifully so when they enter in the morning in the school no nothing is gray and Everything is cheerful and alive. And also, uh, we want to ask them in a video, what do they think the municipality is? Mm -hmm. And the responses will be uh, provided in the form of, of a treasure hunt with uh, obviously some rewards in the end for the one with best. So you can say you use a... Uh, um... The, the, the creativity of the young people to arise uh, awareness about uh, the active citizenship and they think this is a very good alternative way to do it. <laughs> yes, and from experience with other projects we know that when children go home to their parents and say well, look what we are doing, we are listened to, the parents are more likely to uh, be themselves active citizens than just coming from themselves you know what we don't do for our children <laughs> well, i think it's always a better thing to invest on the young, the yes. young people yeah. all the time so thank you christina it was extremely interesting to hear all your experiences and i hope to come to the streets very soon